In this video, we are going to learn about how to develop your own AI calculator app using MIT App Inventor. So let's test this app. So ask if you click the ask any question. So it will ask one question. We'll, we can ask any questions for the app. 5 divided by 2. 5 divided. So it's showing the 5 divided by 2 is 2.5. 500 is divided by 2. So it's showing none. 500 divided by 2. So it's showing 250. 500 plus 2. 502. Yes, this is how our app is going to work. Now we are in our MIT app inventor. Now I'm going to click the start new app project and you need to name your project as math app as you can give any app name you want. So let I can click the OK button because of that the project will be creating for me. So here what I'm going to do means here I am going to set this a uh, screens. A title is going to be visible, non-visible, so invisible. So then I'm going to drag and drop one uh, text box, not text box, it's label. Okay. So uh, here, this is the, uh, I'm going to name it as a uh, question. So it is going to be the question here. So then I'm going to name it as question and this is going to be bold and it is going to be italic. So then I'm going to set the font size as 25. So also I'm going to set uh, this uh, after the question I'm going to give a uh, is too simple. Okay. So then uh, I'm going to add one uh, horizontal alignment here. So inside that original arrangement, I'm going to keep this label. So after the label, we are going to add another one label for displaying the question. So in this horizontal al arrangement, uh, align vertical is going to be center. And uh, this is going to be question number. So let's give as, for example, we are displaying as one as one. This is for the example. So then I'm going to set a uh, font sound size is going to be almost 18 pixels. So then I'm going to set it as bold. I'm going to set it as italic. So then uh, I'm going to set this horizontal arrangements uh, which is going to be fill parent. So then I'm going to set horizontal align horizontal is going to be center. So then I'm going to set this background color of the horizontal align, horizontal arrangement is going to be known. And then we are successfully done with this one. So then I'm going to uh, give I'm going to do I'm going to create another one horizontal arrangement here from the layout name section i'm going to set this horizontal arrangement tools uh, which is going to be fill parent and i'm going to set as uh, instead of left i'm going to keep a center so then i'm going to set as a uh, center again and again so then i'm going to set this background color of this uh, horizontal arrangement is going to be known so then i'm going to add another one label here so this label is going to indicate the answer so answer so then I'm going to give this symbol. Okay. I'm going to set this labels. Uh, a label is going to be bold, italic, and I'm going to set this font size as again for 25 pixels. Okay. So then I'm going to add another one uh, label here. So which is going to display the answer of the question. So uh, here we are going to display the answer like two because one plus one is two, right? So then uh, this label is going to be 25 pixels. So not 25 pixels, maybe 18 is okay. Okay. And I'm going to set this as bold and italic. So that's all for this designing part. Also, we need to add one button for uh, asking. So here uh, I'm going to set everything under the center. Okay. So this is going to be ask any question. In question like that this is the button's text i'm going to set this which is going to be 200 pixels so then what i'm going to do next means here we are going to drag and drop one extension so now you need to go to the provideapps.com slash math.php so this is a math extension that you can find so you can, if you can't able to find the extension i mean the link so i will give the link in the description part so here you need to go down so then you need to click this a uh, download uh, type on uh, math extension AIX file. So you can get this free extension. So it has started downloading for us. So let's uh, wait until it download. So it's uh, started downloading. So let's wait. So then back to the MIT app inventor. So go to the bottom and you need to uh, click this import. Uh, you need to drag and drop here the file. Sorry, you need to uh, drag and drop the file here. 
so then you need to click the import button so then uh, the a uh, file for you a uh, file will be importing for you in the extension name section so now it's successfully imported now what we need to do means we need to drag and drop this extension inside the mobile emulator so because of that this typhon match one extension will be uh, in our components so let's back to the blocks let's go inside the blocks and click the whenever user was clicking this button one that time we need to add another one uh, thing here which is not it's not extension you can find it in the media which is a speech recognition so uh, now what we need to do means uh, whenever user was clicking the button one that time uh, from a uh, uh, speech recognition it is going to get text okay so that uh, text is going to be displayed in the label two so what we need to go in speech recognition after getting the text we are going to display in the uh, label two so label two's uh, text is going to be the a result of the uh, speech recognition okay it's going to result uh, so we are going to display in it so then uh, we need to do another one thing we have uh, drag and drop one extension right so here we need to uh, display in the second uh, in the answer part one it what we are going to do means so once we got the uh, thing the time we are going to display in the label two so uh, then whenever user was clicking the button one get uh, not uh, not this one so then we need to display in the label to right label 4 so let i can duplicate this one so label 4 is the answer one so uh, in the answer part we are going to uh, give the answer of the user's text user's question so how we can do it means a label 2 text is going to be the answer i mean the question for the we are going to uh, set as a question so let's get this text so string is text so now what it will do means whenever user was by clicking the button one ask a question that time it is going to get the text from the user so once it get got the text from the user that time we are going to display the question uh, in the label 2 it was said by the user so then in the label 4 uh, we are going to display the answer of the question which is uh, already stored in the label 2 so this is our app is going to work so let's uh, let I live test our app now if I click this ask any question button so it will pop up one, uh, uh, one small box let's click the ask any question 3 plus 1 yes it's still playing 3 plus 1 4 right 3 plus 1 into 2 so it's 3 plus 1 divided by 2 yes it's saying 3.5 it's correct right so 3 multiplied by 1 3 multiplied by 1 it's showing on a nan 321 plus 32 it's showing the answer right so this is our app is going to work so thank you for watching this video if you like the video make sure you click on the red color subscribe button and the bell icon and please share this video with your friends and families because of that they can also create this simple app uh, which is uh, available here so uh, you can publish this app on the play store very easily and you can get the .aab file very easily from the MIT app inventor so if you don't know how to publish your own app in the uh, play store I let I can give a video link in the description part why because I already uh, made one video how to publish your app on Google Play console if you already saw me it's no problem if you did not saw uh, please go through the video so let's meet on the next video bye